maybe tomorrow you will suddenly for you piper two minutes hell maybe even two and a half oh uh great weird but great just what you said about nat i've been going over it again and again in my head and what you said was right family's too precious what kind of life is she gonna have if i never go near her again it's just Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life. Uh -huh. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. A little girl in a printing press. Sounds like a rich life you've made for yourself. Ain't that the truth? I mean, I never started the paper to make friends. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of uh -huh. guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said. Seriously? One bookcase? Not even some tape? No, but now, now you can't even tell where the hole was. Brick, real mortar, the works. All because of the paper. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But after, people didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. I needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> well, I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just, Blue. <laughs> I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well, hmm. Well, I think you're perfect too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I, I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on, let's not keep the world waiting. It's been a while since we had a wedding. A man and a robot. Strange, but I don't think God will mind.